Welcome back, humble traders. Today, I'll be doing a technical breakdown of Futo Holdings, sticker symbol FUTU. If you're new to the channel, remember to take a second to give the video a like and subscribe. In return, I'll show you the location of funds on the map. Do note that I focus on potential traps data by the market makers and I do not provide any buy or sell calls. Without further ado, let's take a look at Futo Holdings. So in my previous video, I mentioned about three resistance that Futo Holdings has to clear. And I also um, gave a warning that we may potentially have a, a fake breakout above these levels and thereafter we may close with a very um, bearish looking candle. So true enough, we did close a very bearish looking candle. So the fact that Futo Holdings did not even clear its first resistance with good volume just shows that the counter is pretty weak in general compared to others. So if you see that yes, just yesterday, Futo Holdings was down about 12%. And if you ask me, um, this, this shows a lot of signs of weaknesses, but um, I will say that the, the big players have really sold beforehand. You can see that before that, they failed to clear this resistance and uh, followed by uh, four days of red candles and continuous selling nonstop. So it shows that the insiders may really have gotten the, the bad news of this particular counter. Let's take a look at where exactly that this, um, these um, big players may intend to collect back their um, positions. So if you look at this, is the first wave down followed by the second wave down. At around this price, you see that the day low of uh, this particular uh, uh, this particular low of this candle on 17 March was around 32.25. So now we are just about 30 cents away and we may be hitting this um, this uh, this testing once again, this support. However, you look at this candle, it looks a bit uh, too red and it also closed near the bottom. So when it closed near the bottom, it's signs of weakness and the sellers are still in control. So the very next day, they may have uh, still have more to sell. However, if you look at that, uh, um, there's a lot of supports coming up. Thirty-one dollars psychological support will be a strong one to 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 um, to break through. And of course, in the event that we do break through, uh, this support here also works as well. You can see that uh, this support here is the low of around thirty sixty. So thirty fifty will act as a good support for uh, uh, photo holdings. And uh, before we even, uh, after we go to those levels, there is also the $30 um, psychological support that needs to be broke through. But in the event that this correction is a bigger one, and perhaps we, uh, we correct all the way down to this low of about $27.50, uh, then that will be quite a cause for concern because even though we are closing the gap, the charts will be uh, quite destroyed, uh, having, having to come to those levels. So if we manage to close the gap and then there's still no signs of re uh, reversal, then the market makers may potentially flush it down all the way to this low to test the low and uh, see if we even create lower lows or even uh, lower highs from there, which is not a good sign. What we want to see is after this gap has been closed, we want to see a, a rebound straight away. So for instance, it's something like this. What we want to see is something like this being supported here or if the event that the question is bigger being supported here and the last support here after closing the gap is being supported here and thereafter we may potentially go back up again. So where are the projections in the event that uh, we do see a um, potential reversal? So this is the first wave up all the way up to this high of um, 45.05. The low here was around uh, 21, 23. So in the event that we do break out depending on where we are um, projected to stop, may potentially cross back up to $50. Of course, that is a pretty um, 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 uh, optimistic. And we will have to see how does the um, uh, the day candle close for uh, today. And don't forget it's the um, Friday. So the weekly candle is very important. But I do expect to see some uh, buyers coming in back here. If buyers do not come in back here, then it is uh, uh, not a good sign at all because the correction is too big. And uh, potentially, uh, most of the retail may be trapped at this position here. If you look at the MACD, the MACD has really started to turn. So it is not really a good sign. Most stocks are currently at this position, but photo holdings, you can see it already considered turning and the blue line may be cutting the orange line tonight or uh, the next, the very next session. So in the event that we do cut down here and we manage to close back up and then continue with uptrend, then that wouldn't be, uh, that, too, too, that would be, um, quite good as well. So if there's any changes, I'll give you guys an update. Thanks for stopping by and don't forget to subscribe as you keep the uptrend or channel intact. Leave a comment below if you have any other stock TA requests. Till we meet again, appreciate the manipulation.